Hi everybody, thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, I'm really excited to do this video because this is something I have done for my friends over the years and I just thought it's a great gift idea, it's a great way to do something that is low cost but is also somewhat more meaningful than just buying one you know, high-end palette or one one big product that's already pre-packaged. And the idea is to make your own drugstore makeup gift bag for someone. So you could take maybe a gift bag that you already have, or you could go out and, you know, buy something special if you wanted to, or you could just wrap the stuff in individually and put it in, you know, a regular gift bag gift bag type thing. But this, for example, came with like a, a Clinique kit. And so it's just a really cute makeup bag and, it, and something about this size will fit everything I'm gonna tell you about in this video. And so the idea here is not that you necessarily need to follow every, you know, product suggestion that I give, but if you're looking for sort of a guideline or some, some ideas of what might be good, this could maybe give you just a little bit of a basis for that. Or if you just want to say, hey, I'm going to take all your suggestions and tell my friend, hey, there's this girl I watch on YouTube, her name's Emily, and she request she suggested all these items you know I'll take the responsibility for that too but um, basically what I tried to do with this is pick some fun products that I thought would make good gift items and kind of stay away from those products where you have to know their skin tone exactly to match them some way foundation wise for this this is just kind of an all-encompassing gift bag and you could go obviously more or less what I put in this gift bag goes, will run you somewhere between 30 and $35. I, mean, I would love to receive this as a gift, so, um, and I do plan to give these items as a gift to someone. I'm not gonna say who in case they might be watching, but um, I'm just gonna go through right now and tell you everything I put in here. And so these are some personal favorite products of mine. One of them is only a dollar, and it is my ultimate favorite eyelash curler, and it is the e.l.f. eyelash curler. You will find this at Target stores or at eyeslipspace.com, and it is just a wonderful, little tool for eyelashes and it just fits my eye really well. I use that every single day. Next up for the red lipstick lover or the person who is trying red lipstick for the first time. I think this is a great gift because it's very cheap. There's not a lot lost if they don't turn out to like it, but I just have found using this on other people that this is one of the best um, universal red lip colors that's out there. I have it on my lips right now and it is the NYC Ultra Moist Lip Wear in Sheer Red. Again, it's another drugstore find. Just head out to your drugstore and pick it up. I'll do a swatch here on my hand. That's what it looks like. It is definitely a moisturizing feel and it just gives you a great red lip. I mean, if you're not going to try it around the holidays, when are you going to try it, you know? So this would just be a nice little thing to throw in there. Help them try red lips for the first time. Anybody can wear them. Next up is a product that I know for a fact works on a variety of skin tones because I have used this on my sisters in law. If you saw the twins video where I did their makeup, I use this on both of them and it's the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer. So they have very, very fair skin, and I think this would work well on dark skin also. It's a buildable product, and it's something that, you know, if you just use a little bit, you're going to be good for fair skin. You can build it up for darker skin tones, but you get that wonderful contouring bronzer there, and then you get this awesome peachy, kind of shimmery, glowy uh, blush that almost can act as a highlighter when you get it right there in the right spots. So I think that is a wonderful gift product because I think you're friend is really going to enjoy that, having those two um, items there in one. Just remember if they have fair skin, advise them to use the bronzer lightly. I am throwing in the mascara that I have been using for several months now, I think pretty religiously, and I just really, really enjoy it. And it is the Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, and I just am a big, big fan of this mascara. I have tried Lancome Hypnos and Hypnose Drama, and this one I honestly think I might like better than them both. And it's just a very dense brush. You will like this mascara the more you go on and use it. So I feel like as the product gets a little bit drier in the tube, just after, you know, a week or two worth, worth of use, it's going to perform absolutely perfectly. Also, how about some false eyelashes? You know, sometimes these are the types of things you, as a well-informed makeup loving friend, you know, might want need to, um, 
I don't know, sort of get somebody going on the idea of this and let them see how much it can change their look for a special occasion. I'm talking about false eyelashes. And I am a huge fan of the Revlon false eyelashes. These happen to be defining, but they have intensifying. They have so many other options. This is probably the most natural option. So if you were going to introduce someone who didn't wear falsies a lot, but wanted something just to add some natural thickness, these are great. These are only about $4 at Walmart and then $4 as well, the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. I swear by this, this is the only lash glue I ever want to use anymore because it just goes on so easily. It's got, instead of squeezing it out of the tube, it's got this lovely wand applicator. It gets just the right amount on, gets tacky quickly. It has definitely uh, expedited the process of putting on uh, false eyelashes for me, for sure. Um, next thing is a lip balm that is just, a great little gift item, I think, because it's a little bit different, chances are, than anything they've tried before. And it is the EOS Lip Balm. I love the lemon drop flavor, and you can find this in most Walgreens stores. Has the most refreshing lemon scent. Just kind of one of those, you know, put it on at the start of the day, just kind of perks up the senses. A great little item to throw in to your gift makeup bag. Last two things I want to talk about are a little bit bigger. This is $5, and I think it makes a wonderful gift bag thing. And it is from e.l.f., and it is their $5 palette. I know you guys have seen me review the Big 100 palette, and I like that as well, but I think kind of for this gift bag idea, this fits will probably fit right into most bags that you might give. And it's just a little less maybe overwhelming, and I have been using this so often. Just like the 100, I used that for quite some time, realized I liked this, wanted to go ahead and see what the, the $5 palette was all about. And it has such a good mix of neutral, bright, and smoky colors. So um, I can do more swatch-wise on this on my blog. I definitely need to because I am backed up on the amount of swatching on my to-do list for my blog. But um, just to let you know, basically these colors are pretty pigmented. You're getting a mix of matte and shimmer. There Are they all absolutely fantastic colors? No, you will run into a few that you don't maybe like as well as others, but for the most part, I think this is an awesome, awesome kit for five bucks. Last but not least, a great item to throw in a gift bag, I think, are some brushes. And I'm going to throw in a set that I think is one of the best kinds of brushes you can find at the drugstore, and it's from EcoTools. And this happens to be a little $8 brush set, and it's the mineral brush set. So you're getting this little pouch, and then you're getting these four brushes that go in it. A really nice powder slash blush brush slash, you know, great bronzer brush, brush as well. What I love so much about the mineral kit is that you really feel like you're giving someone a treat because these are incredibly soft brushes. Some of the softest brushes I have found in the drugstore are the, is this EcoTools mineral set. So you can see it's got like the dual tone bristles. That's how you know these are the mineral brushes. So this is a great size for your you know, your contouring, your bronzer, your powder, whatever. Then you've got a little kabuki brush as well. And so if you want that, you know, slightly more dense application of mineral makeup or something like that, or you just want to use this for powder, maybe you've put your foundation on and this can be the brush that you use to set that. That's an awesome idea. And then you get a couple brushes. Um, this one, of course, is an eye brush. So this is going to be a good size. This is an actually very good size to use as a blending brush to kind of like you put the color in your crease. Now you want to blend it out or just a wash of color in your crease. This can do that. Again, very soft. Um, you don't have to feel strange at all about using this around your eye area because it really, for that, that kind of more sensitive skin zone, um, this is super duper soft. And then you get this other brush that can be a concealer brush, or I think this can make a really good flat eyeshadow brush to pack on the color. So whatever you want to use it for, it's great because it comes kind of in its own little set there, and I just think that is a fantastic way to round out your gift bag. So guys, hopefully this gave you some ideas for building your own makeup gift bag. Again, use the ideas that I shared with you here or alter it a little bit here and there. I'm sure we all have run across some of our you know, most favorite products that we would love to share with a friend if we 
we could. So take Christmas as your opportunity to expose some people to some new great products that maybe they've never tried before and maybe would never try unless you sort of, you know, steered them in the right direction. So feel free to share what you might put into, you know, your makeup gift bag for someone or what you would like to receive in a makeup gift bag. I think it's always fun to share tons of ideas where this kind of thing is concerned because we're all sort of trying to brainstorm what the best gifts might be. So thanks again for watching everyone. I hope you all have a great day.